hello guys welcome to the channel in this particular video i will explain the problem delete middle element of a stack so the problem is quite interesting and based on the concept of stack and recursion without any further delay let me start with the problem statement so it says that you are given a stack and your task is to delete the middle element of the stack without using any additional data structure so about the middle element the definition is given here if you try to solve using this definition then you are surely going to face a lot of issues the reason i find this definition wrong is uh, this particular example so for this example we are given a stack of size 4 right let's try to find the middle element using this particular formula the middle element uh, according to this formula will be 4 plus 1 by 2 which is 5 by 2 which is going to give me 2.5 right now if you try to find the seed value of 2.5 then this will say that hey 3 is the seed value and following the one based indexing so the middle element should be at index 3 uh, from the bottom right but this is not correct middle element is at index 2 from the bottom you can see here right this way this is going to be the actual middle element if we delete this then we will get 10 30 and 40 as the output right so this is how we can solve the problem by deleting the middle element the only question is how to calculate the middle element right because this is not going to work so let's see how we can uh, calculate the middle element for this particular stack you can see that we have got a stack of even size so the middle element for this is 4 by 2 right this is going to give me 2 what about a stack of odd size so let's say we have got a stack where the size is 5 and the elements are 1 2 3 4 5 right so now uh, let's try to find using this formula this is going to give us 5 by 2 right this is going to give us uh, which is nothing but 2 if you try to do the integer division so 2 is not the correct index for the middle element right you can see that middle element is present at this index which is 3 from the bottom following the one based indexing so what we can do is instead of doing this we can do 5 plus 1 by 2 and this is going to give me 3 right so this is giving me correct index for the middle element similarly we can using uh, we can use the same approach for this as well we will do 4 plus 1 by 2 this is going to give me a uh, 5 by 2 which is 2 right so middle element uh, index for this is going to remain same this means that this is going to work right so we can write middle element index is equal to uh, size plus 1 by 2 this is the formula that we can use right now I hope you have understood this as well so let's see how we can solve the problem okay so I have written one example here for this the size of stack is 5 right now let's try to find the middle element first so middle element according to the previous formula is going to be size plus 1 by 2 right which is nothing but 5 plus 1 by 2 for this example which is 3 so middle element is present at index 3 right so this is the correct index for the middle element now what we'll do is uh, we are going to look at the approach to solve the problem so the approach is we are given this stack right so first of all let me draw the stack we have 10 20 30 40 50 now the first approach that may come to your mind is we can use an auxiliary stack data structure here right and we can use okay so first call it an auxiliary stack right and now first step is to store all these element in the auxiliary stack so when we do this then we will get 50 first right after this we will get 40 then 30 after this we will get 20 then 10 right so this way we can get every element from stack 1 to stack 2 stack 1 is our main stack so let's call it main this is our main stack now when we perform the first step then this stack is going to become empty right the second step is uh, quite similar to the first stack we are going to push all the element from the auxiliary stack to the main stack again right the only difference is while storing the element we have to ignore the middle element so when we do this then we will have 10 first then 20 then we don't have 30 right we will have 40 and 50 this is how we can solve the problem let me show you uh, in detail so first of all we, we are going to have a counter right we are going to have a counter which is initially equal to 0 now before storing any element we are going to increase the value of counter and then only we will store the element right so first of all let's make the counter as 1 then store this 10 after this make the counter 2 then store this element right after this make the counter 3 
but whenever our counter becomes 3 or counter becomes equal to middle element right this is the middle element index so in that case we have to ignore that particular element so we are simply going to ignore 3 right after this counter will become 4 then I'll simply store 40 then counter will become 5 then I'll store 50 right this is how I can get the output this is the desired output now I can write uh, one important observation from this if my counter is not equals to middle index right middle index is nothing but this particular value so if my counter is not equal to middle index only in that case we are going to store the value so simply I'll write a uh, store store uh, value right this is what I have observed till now now the question that you can ask me is hey we are not asked to solve the problem using an additional data structure right so why you are using an additional stack here okay so now the only problem that I'm left with is I have this additional data structure right what I'll do is I'll convert this stack into a recursion stack so now this problem has become a simple recursion problem once we have solved this by using the recursion so we have got our answer right Sp space complexity is still going to be O of n because the recursion stack again uses uh, a stack which is a system stack right so we can use or we can utilize this recursion stack to solve the problem let's see how okay so what I have is uh, let me write the same example here now in the example we have 10 20 30 40 and 50 right so first task is to make this stack empty right and store this element somewhere so I'll write two simple lines the first line is element equals to stack let's say s is my stack stack dot pop right after this I have to call the same function when we say recursion then it's like calling the same function but we don't have function till now right so first of all let me write the function I have a sol which is s uh, going to take s which is stack then size of stack then it is going to take middle index as well right I want the middle index also so inside this first step is to uh, pop the element so 50 will come here then I'll simply call the same function so I'll call uh, solve s comma now size is become size minus one and then middle index right this is what we can do but hold on whenever we call a same function whenever we call a same function so the system uses uh, like system stores the state of current function somewhere in the stack right so when we call the same function so let's see what happens uh, like inside the system so let's say this is the same system recursion stack now whenever we call a function uh, the moment we call this function then it will save the state of current function so we have element equals to 50 right because this is the top element right this is top element uh, 20 30 40 and 50 so this is the element that we have pop popped out after this the size that will be saved is 5 right okay after this we again come to the same function and then we again uh, pop one element and call the function so we will see that now the element is 40 and the size is 4 right after this again we are going to call the function so element is equal to 30 now and size is equal to 3 now fine what about this again I will have element equals to 20 and then size equals to 30 okay size equals to uh, I am writing wrong here uh, size equals to 2 then I have element equals to 10 and then size equals to 1 right after this uh, my size will become 0 but what is the value of element in that case we have an empty stack right so this is going to work as a base condition the base condition will be if uh, my size is equals to 0 in that case we don't have any element to pop out right because we have popped out all the elements so we are simply going to return in that case fine so till now what we have done is we have stored the all the values of this stack somewhere in another stack right now we have to store the value of that particular auxiliary stack again to this stack again right so whenever uh, this function returns whenever this function returns then we will call uh, then we will come something uh, below this particular line right so I'll come here so I'll simply do a uh, stack dot add inside uh, like at this point I'll simply do stack dot add element right and this is going to uh, add the current element which is 10 into the stack so again uh, like okay this is my initial stack right main stack has become empty now so let me draw an empty main stack first this is the empty main stack so I'll simply store this element 10 
and you can see that the size is 1 for this right after this again it is going to return because there is nothing to execute below this right so now it will come to this 20 and size is 2 now so it, it will simply return 20 by right after this I'll come to 30 and size is 3 now so size is 3 right this is equal to middle element so I don't have to store it how to write condition for this if my size is equals to middle element right or I'll say middle index this is the uh, more correct line right so I don't have to store it so I'll write if my size is not equal to middle index only in that case I have to store this is very similar to uh, this particular line right so now you can see that I have written all the code for the recursive function so this function is recursively going to store all the values this value is ignored after this I have got 40 here then I'll simply get 50 here right so this is how we can solve the problem the time complexity and space complexity both are going to be O of n here right so now you can see that uh, all we need to do is we just need to call this function for uh, initial uh, like call right so the function call will be something like solve uh, size co stack comma size comma middle index right how to get middle index this is nothing but size plus one uh, by two right this is what we need to write okay so now I hope you have understood the solution let me show you the code now here is the code so I have written the C++ code on the left hand side then I have written the Java code on the right hand side and Python code also right so you can see that all I'm doing is I'm simply uh, first of all I'm like deleting the first element top element after this I'm calling the same function these two line are going to make the stack empty recursively right after this I'll again keep storing the element uh, I, I'll just ignore the middle element right so this is going to give me a stack which doesn't have a middle element now right okay uh, my bad the middle element will be deleted when we uh, execute this particular code right okay so the similar code is written here as well and this is you can see that how I'm calculating the middle element as well right okay and this is about the Python code so now I have I hope you have understood everything related to this problem thank you